What's going on everyone? Gormy here. Today I am bringing you guys a new 4-2-3-1 tactic that honestly I may end up using on my new save that is starting Monday, uh, which is the day that this is going to come out. So uh, yeah, it is absolutely phenomenal. All the teams finished in the top 10 that we tested it with. We got three champions as well. And I believe a total of 11 trophies. So absolutely incredible results. Uh, but before we do get into that today, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys do happen to enjoy the video. Also, I will be linking the tactic in the Discord that will be linked down below. So if you guys want to check out the Discord or download the tactic, definitely feel free to do so. Also, I'll be linking my Twitch down below as well if you guys would like to check out the new save that will be starting as of the day that this video goes live. So if you guys like to check it out, you can catch me out. You can catch me at there we go, twitch.tv slash ygourmet. So definitely feel free to come over and hang out if you guys would like to do so. But now without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so this tactic. It will be called the Masterpiece in the Discord for those of you that want to load it up into your saves. We have an advanced forward on attack, two wingers on support, shadow striker on attack, center mid on attack, ball winning midfielder on defend, two wingbacks on support, two central defenders on defend, and a sweeper keeper on defend. Now, the advanced forward, I added shoot more often and tackle harder. Both wingers have aim crosses at center and tackle harder. Shadow Striker has shoot more often and tackle harder. The central midfielder on attack has move into channels and tackle harder. Ball winning midfielder was left as is. The, bank, the wing backs both have cross aim, aim crosses at center. See, it messes me up every time. Aim crosses at center and tackle harder. And then the central defenders have tackle harder on. The sweeper keeper on defend was left as is. Now, we played with a positive mentality with this tactic. Played fairly wide. We passed into space, played out from the defense, worked the ball into the box. We dribbled less and had a slightly lower tempo. In transition, we used counter press, counter, distribute quickly to the defense, aka the fullbacks and center backs. When out of possession, we have a much higher line of engagement and a higher defensive line extremely urgent pressing intensity and prevent short goalkeeper distribution now this tactic is a asymmetrical tactic meaning that there's one player at least out of a normal formation but basically the striker that is on the left the advance forward on attack will be playing on the left he can drift into space but the shadow striker is going to act as another striker. So he will get up into here on the attack. And you'll basically have a 4-2-4 in some way, shape, or form. Uh, but with the attack, it's basically going to be center mid coming up. Both wing backs coming up. Your wingers coming up. And two strikers. So it is all out chaos. In your opponent's box highly highly recommend using this tactic like i said i am probably going to end up using it on my new save because it is just absolutely lethal now the set pieces that we used we use the elite corner set piece tactics and elite set piece tactics which will be attached to this tactic as well as i will link it in the discord as well if you guys would like to download it but now, without further ado, let's get in to see how Liverpool and the other Premier League team did in the league. All right, so with the Prem teams, we tested it out with Liverpool and Aston Villa. Aston Villa are the team that finished the lowest out of all the teams that we tested it with, but they still finished top 10, finished in 10th place. They finished on 50 points. They had a little bit of a hiccup which is why they did not finish any higher, but they still finished mid-table, which I will definitely take. Now, Liverpool ended up being crowned champions. They finished on 99 points. They're absolutely phenomenal. They were runners-up to Man City 
in the Champions League final. They got knocked out in the semifinal of the FA Cup by Man City as well. They won the Carabao Cup and they won the Community Shield. So Liverpool ended up with a treble. It was very, very nice that we could get that with one Premier League club at least. Now let's look at the team overview and player overview. All right, so with Liverpool, they had the most goals scored in the league with 90. Aston Villa in sixth with 71. Most shots for Liverpool was in first, Aston Villa in eighth. Few shots against Liverpool in first, Aston Villa in seventh. Best pass completion, Liverpool were in fifth with 88%. Most possession, Liverpool in first with 58% possession. Aston Villa in sixth with 53% possession. Now, Aston Villa were in tackles one, whereas Liverpool were not. Aston Villa had 945 tackles one. Most dribbles made, neither team was in. Most shutouts, however, Liverpool was in first with 27. The next highest was 18, so that is very impressive. Aston Villa in eighth with 10. Few was conceded, Liverpool only conceded 17 goals. Whereas Man City, the next closest to them, conceded 35. So Liverpool were absolutely incredible. They had a great, great season. Now on to the player overview. All right, so for most goals in the league, Mohamed Salah was in sixth with 16 league goals. Most assists, Mohamed Salah finished in first with 17 in the league. Matt Target finished in 7th with 9. Matt Target is a very, very good left back. I highly recommend you guys sign him. Whatever save you guys are doing. Virgil van Dijk had the most shots because of the corner set piece tactic. He went absolute god mode in this test. So I will be showing you that in a moment. But he had the most shots out of anyone in the league by a large margin. He had 166. Next highest was Dominic Calvert-Lewin with 114. Most part of the match performances, Mohamed Salah in first with 10. Virgil van Dijk was in a what looks like a five-way tie for third with six. Most key passes, Mohamed Salah with 163. James Milner had 116. Trent Alexander-Arnold with 102, so that is absolutely awesome. Best pass completion, we have Virgil van Dijk with 96%. Same with Joel Matip. Most tackles won, Matty Target once again in here. He, he is an absolute beast. Like I said, definitely, definitely sign this kid. But he finished in second with 138 tackles, one, two off of being tied for first. Most dribbles made, no one was in. Most shutouts, Allison had 27 shutouts. Dude's a god, and Allison was tied for least amount of goals conceded with Carl Darlow with 17 goals allowed. Now, getting into the squad, let's sort this by goals. There we go. Mohamed Salah had 23 goals on the year. Sadio Mane with 18. Like I said, Virgil van Dijk went god mode. Corner set pieces, he was insane. 17 goals. 17. That's absolutely absurd, folks. Diago Jota had 16. Divock Orji, 15. Roberto Firmino, 13. Same with Giorgino Wijnaldum. So, I mean, multiple players with double-digit goals. That is awesome. Now, assist-wise, we've got Mohamed Salah with 25, James Milner with 17, Sadio Mane with 11, Firmino with 9, Kaita and Robertson with 8, Jota and Alexander-Arnold with 7. Now going over to Aston Villa. All right, now here with Aston Villa, their numbers were a little bit lower, but they still did very, very well. Ali Watkins had 21 goals, Ross Barkley with 17. Dude had an incredible season. Trezget with 12, Jack Grealish with 9, Tyrone Mings with 6, Bertrand Traore with 6, Morgan Sansone with 5. Assist-wise, we have got Mr. Matt Target with 11 assists, Bertrand Traore with 9, Russ Barkley with 8, we've got Ali Watkins and Jack Grealish with 6, John McGinn and Tyrone Mings with 5, as well as Douglas Luiz and Trezget. So, I mean, seeing Tyrone Mings be able to contribute 6 goals and 5 assists, He's very, very good. And a majority of those assists are either coming from long balls played in from the defense or from him just heading it to another teammate on the corner set pieces, which he will, one of your central defenders is most likely going to be doing that on the corner set pieces. So keep that in mind that you do have someone that is pretty solid at the far post on these corner set pieces. But now let's get into our German teams. 
All right, so we start off with Bayern Munich. Now, they had a down year. They definitely did with this save, but they still won the league. So even though they had a down year, they still won the league. That's how nutty this team is. But they won the league. They won the Club World Championship. They got knocked out of the Champions League group stage and got to the semifinal of Euro Cup but got knocked out by Inter Milan. Now, they won the European Super Cup and they won the German Super Cup. They got knocked out in the quarterfinal of the DFP Pokal. They're still a very, very good team. They did very, very well with this tactic. But the other club that we tested it out with in Germany was VFB Stuttgart. And they finished in eighth. They did very, very solid. So I was very, very happy to see that. Now, getting into the team overview. So... Bayern Munich had 68 goals for in the league. Like I said, down year, a lot of the teams had lower numbers goal-wise for this test. But Bayern Munich ended up finishing in first with 68. We got VFB Stuttgart in sixth with 54. Most shots for Bayern in first. Stuttgart in eighth. Few shots against Bayern in first. Best kept pass completion. Neither team was in, but most possession both were. Bayern went 55%. Stuttgart with 53. Most tackles won. Both were in. Stuttgart in third with 807. And Bayern in eighth with 757. Most dribbles made Stuttgart in fourth with 100. So that's very solid. Most shutouts. Bayern in second with 14. Stuttgart in seventh with 11. And then fewest conceded. Bayern in third with 36. So Schalke actually had a very, very solid season defensively. So that is actually really good to see. But now getting on to the player overview. All right. Goal-wise, player overview. We've got Klodzic with 20. He was one behind Erling Haaland, so that's pretty nice. Lewandowski in fourth with 18. Most assists, we've got Gonzalo Castro with 10. David Alaba with 9. Most shots, we've got Klodzic and Robert Lewandowski. I believe that's how you say his name, Klodzic. Let me know if I am pronouncing that wrong, but I believe I'm getting it right. And then we have Klotzic once again with player of the match. He had six of them. Most key passes, we've got Joshua Kimmich with 116. Best pass completion, Jerome Boateng with 95%. We did not have anyone in most tackles one, even though both teams were in it. But we did not have any players in most tackles one. Now, most dribbles made, we did have Omanga Tuka. He was in eighth with 25 most shoutouts, we've got Manuel Neuer with 14, and fewest conceded, we have got Manuel Neuer with 35. So now let's get into the squad overview of what everyone did. All right, so on the year, Robert Lewandowski had 31 goals, Tomas Muller with 14, Douglas Costa with 13, Serge Gnabry with 11, Nicholas Shula with 9, Mark Rocha with 8. Jerome Boateng with five and David Alba at five. That's nice seeing Jerome with five goals. Love seeing that. Then assist wise, we've got David Alba with 15, Thomas Muller with 12, Joshua Kimmich with 11, Serge Nabry with 10, Leon Gretzko with seven, Larry Sane, Lewandowski both with six, and Mark Rocco with five. Now on to VFB Stuttgart. So with Stuttgart, Klajic was the main man goal scoring wise. He had 21. But we've got three players with six, Wamangatuka, Klimowicz, and Gonzalo Castro. Then Mavropanos had four goals, Eric Tommy with three, Endo with three, Nicholas Gonzalez also with three. Assist-wise, we've got Gonzalo Castro with ten assists, eight assists from Nicholas Gonzalez, Klimowicz with seven, Pascal Stenzel with six, multiple players with four, those being Eric Tommy, Wamangatuka, and Borna Sosa and multiple players with two. But yeah, overall, the German clubs did pretty solid, uh, getting once again both top 10 finishes with VFB Stuttgart finishing in eighth and Bayern Munich winning the league and a quadruple at that. But now on to the French teams that we tested it with. All right, so here we are with our French clubs. We tested it out with PSG and FC Lorient. Both finishing in the top five. PSG winning the league as per usual. And FC Lorient getting a Europa League spot. So that's absolutely awesome. But PSG ended up winning the treble, winning the league, French Cup, and Trophy de Champions. 
but they were knocked out in the quarterfinal of the Champions League by Manchester United. But overall, teams did very, very good. And I was blown away by both these clubs with how they did um, once we look at the squad and how everyone did overall throughout the season. They went absolutely uh, just God mode. They really did. So first, let's look at the team and player overview. All right, so here we are at the team overview screen. We have got most goals, most goals. PSG with 102. Next highest was FC Lorient, and they only had 65. So PSG really, really outdid a lot of clubs this season. Now most shots for PSG were in first, FC Lorient were in eighth. Few shots against, PSG were in first, FC Lorient in fifth. Best pass completion, PSG had 88%. Most possession, PSG at 58%, FC Lorient with 56. Most tackles won, FC Lorient had the most, they had 866. Most dribbles made, PSG had 127. Most shutouts, PSG with 25. And fewest conceded, PSG with 15. So that's first time both clubs were in every single stat category. That That's why I'm saying like the, the French clubs blew me away with this tactic. They did very, very well, but now let's get into the player overview. All right, so for most goals, Tara Mofi had 22, Neymar with 19, Mario Icardi with 15. Most assists, Neymar with 15, Angel Di Maria with 13, and Quinton Boisgard with 9. Most shots, Tara Mofi had 136, that's pretty impressive. Now most player of the match performances, Neymar with 7. Most key passes, Neymar with 123 and Gal Di Maria with 110. Best pass completion, Marquinhos with 97%. Most tackles won, Vincent Legoff with 131. Most dribbles made, we were not in. However, we were in most shutouts with Kaylor Navas having 23. A few is conceded, Kaylor Navas only let in 15. So they were absolutely lights out, both clubs were. They were very, very good. Now let's look at what they did overall throughout the season. All right, so we've got Neymar here with 34 goals, Mario Riccardi with 23, Mr. Kylian Mbappe with 16, Pablo Sarabia with 13, Presno Kempembe with 12, Angel Di Maria with 12, Rafinha with 10, Moise Keane with 10, Marquinhos with nine. So, I mean, the, the set piece tactics and just the players they really really work well with this tactic so definitely definitely give this tactic a go as well as the set piece tactics now assist wise we've got neymar with 24 Angel di maria with 20 alessandro florenzi with 13 pablo sarabia with 12 so pablo sarabia with 13 goals 12 assists only starting 24 games of coming on as a sub 21 times he was absolutely vital during the season rafinha with 10 goals and 11 assists as well. So, I mean, they're they're very, very solid players with this tactic. Marco Verratti had 9 assists. Mbappe and Icardi both with 7. And Moise Keane with 6. Now let's get over to FC Lorient. All right. So we're here with Tara Mofi at number 1 with 25 goals. Johan Vissa with 13. We've got Armand Lariente with 8. Thomas Monconduy with 5. Quinton Boisgard with four, Marveau with three, DR and Gerbic with two, multiple players with one. Assist wise, we've got Lariente with 10, Boisgard with nine, Thomas Mokundui with eight, we got Yoan Visa with six, same with Lagoff, Tara Mofi with four, Enzo Lafay with three, same with Ch Chalaba and Lemoyne, and then we've got multiple players with two and multiple with one. So overall, these teams did absolutely incredible so now let's see some gameplay with this tactic
All right, so that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tactic. French clubs absolutely dominated, as you guys could see from the gameplay that you guys just watched. But like I said, if you guys do want to download this tactic, it will be linked in the Discord down below. But with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.